Okay, I have a couple of different tutorials out there on menus and widgets, but this particular tutorial is very specific to the instructional design course. So here is a sample of an instructional design layout. And one of the things I can see in the top here are the fact is the fact that all of my pages which I've been creating are all listing across the top here. And that's not what we want. We want to control which pages are available to our users from this particular location or our menu location. And also common wisdom these days is about five to seven items in your main menu bar is pretty much the max that you want to have. So I do want to retain this home link that takes me back to my home here um, of this particular site but I do not need the sample hyperlinks nor do I need the block one sample but I also need a hyperlink back to my main portfolio and of course that should be your main portfolio when you are creating it for yourself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over here to my editor and to dashboard I'm just going to reorient us back to kind of like a home space here I'm going to come down to appearance and over to menus because I need to to build out a menu. When WordPress is first installed, it has no default menus, which is why all of your content is landing up here in the top. So I'm going to create a menu called main menu. Now the phrase of this menu or the title of this particular menu does not show up on your website. So you can call it anything that you want and that is more of an organizational piece for you. So now I know that on that menu I want to put my little home button here. I'm going to click on add to menu and anytime I change it I need to save menu. Now I'm deliberately skipping a step just to show you. I'm going to come back out here and reload this page and show you that yes indeed I've got my little home button here but I do not um, or excuse me I haven't gotten rid of these other two so what's up with that? If I take a look back here on my menu structure, the only thing that's in my menu structure is my home. But here's the secret. Under menu settings, I need to designate that this menu, this main menu here is now the primary menu. Once I click on save menu and I go back out and I reload it or refresh it, lo and behold, it should collapse down to just the one hyperlink. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to create a hyperlink out to my portfolio and of course when I'm saying my I'm meaning your. You want to create a hyperlink to your portfolio. I already have this up and running in another little browser so I can quickly grab the web link. I'm going to copy that. Control C on a Windows machine or Command C on a, on a Mac machine or right click and copy. I'm going to move that out of the way. Now I'm back here at my dashboard and I'm going to now go under custom links. I'm going to erase the HTTP and paste in the uh, URL and I'm going to put in the title of main portfolio. Now truthfully you can call this link anything you want. You could call it my portfolio, you could call it MSCT portfolio. Um, whatever you like, but you don't want to call it home, mainly because within this WordPress you already have a page called home and it would be confusing to users. I'm going to click on add to menu. I'm going to save that menu and then I'm going to go ahead and pop out to the site and I'm going to reload it. I'm just waiting for it to finish saving. Here I've reloaded it. Now I've got the home for this particular website here and I've got a link back to my main portfolio. And that's the pieces, excuse me, those are the pieces you need to set up for your instructional design menu.